Iranian surgery. Medical tourism at its best. Hello, my dear friends. In the case of gender reassignment surgery, the main method is penile inversion, which means inverting the penis and using it as a vagina. As you see in the video, the first thing you need is a sterilized male penis in the operating room. First, the testicles are removed and discarded. After removing the testicles, an incision is made under the gland's penis and the skin over the glands is completely removed. And then the tip of the penis is lifted from the shaft, with the vessels and sensory nerves still attached to form the clitoris. And at this stage, it's actually the skin of the penis that is separated from the internal parts themselves. And after the erectile tissue of the penis is separated, the duct or urethra is separated too. The tissue responsible for the erection is completely detached and then removed to avoid enlargement and blood flow due to the stimulation during sexual intercourse. After this, they turn the skin inwards and then make some holes which are meant to form the clitoris. As you can see, the glands itself becomes the female clitoris and the urethra rises from the edge of the skin plate and after being opened, it is used to increase the diameter and create a wetter environment inside the vagina. In fact, the rest of the urethra produces a part of the vagina using the maneuvers that are performed with a finger or a penile prosthesis to create the vaginal cavity. The skin that belonged to the penis is then inserted and pushed into the cavity that was created earlier and this becomes the person's new vagina. Finally, excess skin is removed to achieve the normal shape of a vagina and this is followed by a skin repair and this is where the gender reassignment surgery ends. <laughs>